Thank you for taking a few minutes to view our Building the Future presentation. The Jesuits early on partnered with the Sisters of the Holy Names of Jesus and Mary to bring this school into its full operating potential. And now we continue in our partnership with the lay people who staff this school to prompt the students to search for God in every part of their lives. Building the future. That's what the St. Aloysius Capital Campaign is all about. From a small, borrowed space on the Gonzaga University campus in 1916 to today's dream of a new multi-purpose facility expansion. For the past 100 years, St. Al's has continued to uphold the highest academic standards and keep Christ at the heart of everything we teach. But the demand for a top-notch education here at St. Al's is growing daily, and those demands weigh heavily on our staff due to our 75-year-old antiquated building. Here is our vision for building the future for St. Aloysius Gonzaga Catholic School. St. Al's Early Learning Center currently offers programs for ages 1 to 6 and childcare for ages 1 to 12. And there's a very long waiting list for every ELC classroom. The new Early Learning Center facility will include two infant care classrooms and increased toddler care from one classroom to three. Quality infant care is very limited in Spokane and in high demand. The new facility will allow St. Al's to provide quality child care from six weeks to 12 years and will not increase tuition to cover the operating budget. The ELC expansion will benefit Logan and St. Al's families, Gonzaga Prep families and employees, and of course our own GU families and employees. I am an avid supporter of the Building the Future Capital Campaign for St. Aloysius because what this school has done for us, for our family, is something that we want to ensure exists and continues for future families to create the kind of environment where kids can be successful and where this school can continue to grow and flourish is really at the core of our commitment. Our current visual arts room, believe it or not, is the old locker room from 50 years ago. This cramped little space attempts to accommodate our entire school population. The new visual arts room is nearly 800 square feet of special lighting, an audiovisual recording and playback system, art supplies and tool storage, wall display units, dry racks, and easels. Here, students will have the space and supplies to use their imaginations to be their best, most creative self. Our kids are the fourth generation at St. Al's, and it's been such a special experience for me to see it coming in to this wonderful environment. Our kids have been sculpted over generations of that influence early in life to create an incredible person and overall individual, and to see it continue generation to generation is a pretty special thing. Science, technology, engineering, and math. The fact is, we live in the technological age and STEM programs are our children's future. Our current science facility is one classroom and doesn't even have basic equipment like computers for software programming classes, microscopes, speakers, and safety items like locking cabinets for the chemicals. The new STEM lab will be 1,386 square feet of space and equipment that allow teachers to create dynamic lessons and experiments. A curriculum that engages, excites, and encourages St. Al students to begin to imagine all of the incredible possibilities of a STEM career. My wife and I have chosen to send all our kids to St. Al's. The teaching staff's high energy and the focus and the faith-based education with deep commitment to math, science, and the arts. Math is the language of the scientific world. It describes God's creation. The school and staff's commitment was key for us to send our kids here. I am especially excited about the wonderful new performing arts classroom planned for the second floor of the expansion. The more than 1,400 square foot facility will include specially designed band and choir rooms that include acoustic panels, audiovisual recording, and playback equipment. And a stage area for plays, concerts, and other performances to enhance our students' expressive and creative learning abilities. The reason why I'm so passionate about the performing arts classroom is because music changed my life. 
I grew up in a boys' choir singing and also playing the piano. And all my life skills I learned doing music, teamwork, leadership, expressing yourself on and off stage, discipline, all these things are taught simply by making music. One of my favorite areas in the St. Al's expansion is the new gym, with not one, but two regulation-sized courts. Located on the first floor, the 17,775 square foot gym will substantially increase seating capacity and will be ADA accessible so that parents, grandparents, and visitors can all attend their kids' athletic competitions. The new gym will allow St. Al's to host all school basketball and volleyball games, and there will be additional court space for other Catholic schools in the Spokane Diocese. I have to say that the new gym will be a vast improvement over the old gym that I played my first game in. St. Al's teams still play in that gym, and they don't even have a locker room. Very difficult to play our team pressing in that little tiny cracker box of a gym. The shots would hit the ceiling, you'd run into the wall during normal layups. So it was quite an adventure playing here. The new gym is, is something special. It is along the lines of the new, the exciting, the best, and it's in a, at a great time in our history. Gonzaga is growing, Gonzaga Prep's expanding, everybody's trying to make this area special and I think the gym's kind of the crowning achievement. And when we get that accomplished, kids from all over, not just kids at St. Al's, but from Gonzaga Prep, Gonzaga University, have an opportunity to come down here and, and enhance their games, play in different kinds of sports here, and, and obviously St. Al's will be at the start and finish of all of it. So there you have it. It seems our reputation for the Jesuit tradition of high academic, Christ-centered education now finds our 75-year-old building in demand and bursting at the seams. The time has come to build on the 100 years of hard work it took to make St. Aloysius a pillar of excellence in education. School in partnership with parents that developed the spiritual, intellectual, emotional, and physical capacities of each and every child who walks through our doors. We're asking you now to please become a part of our vision, building the future of St. Aloysius for generations to come.